James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is July 14th, 2023, 11 a.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. The Bastille Day event. You know a solar flare is strong when even the Voyager spacecraft feels the event. 23 years ago today, July 14, 2000, the sun exploded with so much force it sent shock waves to the edge of our solar system. Soho images of the X 5.7 class Bastille Day solar flare and CME blinding snow in the images is a result of the energetic protons hitting our spacecraft. At about 11 a.m. in Western Europe, where Bastille Day celebrations were underway in France, Earth-orbiting satellites reported an X 5.7 class solar flare. Within the hour, energetic particles accelerated by the flare reached our planet. Protons and electrons hit the atmosphere and created a cascade of radiation that reached all the way to the ground, a rare ground-level event. And just taking a look, let's be honest, the flare doesn't look, well, the last part looks pretty strong. Quote, People flying in commercial jets at higher altitudes would have received at least double their usual radiation dose, says Clive Dyer of the University of Surrey Space Center in Guilford, United Kingdom, who studies extreme space weather. Quote, it was quite an energetic event, one of the strongest in the past 20 years. Notice they're saying not the strongest, but one of them. A day later, the chromal mass ejection arrived and impacted Earth. Its impact on July 15, 2000 sparked an extreme KP9 geomagnetic storm. The sun had just set on the east coast of North America when the auroras appeared. And, ladies and gentlemen, our shields were very strong at that point. Let's hope that an event like this, or similar to this, does not occur anytime soon. God bless, share, and subscribe. Always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.